Hey guys, welcome back to the Arsenal career mode on FC24. We're in the transfer window and look at this. We've already made three changes to the squad. Hincapié has come in from Bayer Leverkusen, our new left centre-back, left back, well, backup, left centre-back and backup left back. He's going to be so good though. And of course, a few episodes ago, we signed Diomande. He is now an Arsenal player. Now that the transfer window has opened, he's joined. And of course, Cedric has gone to Everton. So two huge signings, defensive signings and one player out. I'm really hoping we can sell more players. Let's take a look and see if there's any other big signings that have gone through so far. Chilwell has gone to Newcastle. Taliska to Juventus. Okay. Nothing crazy, though. I was kind of expecting... Oh, okay. Colwell's gone to Atletico Madrid. Interesting. I was expecting some really big moves, but so far, doesn't seem to be the case. Um, we do need to do training plans. Let's go ahead and just quickly do that before we make more signings. Uh, that's in central training plan. We're just going to go on balanced for now and then apply to all players. We've got 33 players. Oh my God. We need to shrink that down to like 26, 27, something like that. So what do we do, guys? What do we do? The question is, will Partey leave? Will he go? I think he will. And if he goes, we absolutely need to bring in someone that replaces that physicality that we're going to lose if he leaves. And I think, genuinely, Jolington could be perfect. I'm absolutely devastated, though, because if you remember in the last episode last night, uh, when, or it might be the episode before, actually, when Jolington was first added to this list, he only had six months remaining. Um, actually, I think it said seven. So I wasn't able to approach him just yet. And then I went forward one or two days and bang, he signed a new contract. So Newcastle have managed to keep hold of him and he has signed a new deal. But it doesn't mean I've lost out too much. I think, yes, I could have signed him for free for next season, but I need a player now. So I wouldn't have done that. I would have signed him now. And I think it would have cost me maybe 25 to 30 million, which I think is probably what we're going to have to pay now. Around 30, maybe 32, 33 million. Is he... The Partey replacement. I think he might be. He's an absolute monster of a player. And he's South American, so I get two out of three on the objective. I'm kind of convincing myself here, honestly. The only thing I'd say is Paqueta gives me equal excitement. But what he doesn't have is that physicality that Partey brings. And I kind of want to do a straight swap almost you know Partey leaves Jolington comes in and remember Jolington isn't a DM I would play him in that number eight role because Declan Rice is my DM so it does make sense I think I've convinced myself guys look at the size of him he's an absolute brute I'm getting him I'm getting him Jolington I want him I think he'll be absolutely perfect for what we're looking for and Paqueta we can always look into that another time. We don't need him right now. We'll try a player swap again. We've got Aziz. Ooh, actually, hang on. Straight swap? No. Partey's worth quite a bit. Um, let's throw in Aziz. And I'm just going to put in a cold 30 million. I know it's, it's, it's going to be more than 30, so this is fine. Oh, they want Jorginho. Ooh, no, I can't. I, I need a DM. I need some players in that position okay let's try someone else we've got flores cozy adubri um foreign hmm let's try walters once again i'm just gonna go in with 30 but i think the tension's gonna go very high here oh okay they'll only need 31.9 well, how about 30.5? <laughs> you could have had a player and they'll take it. Eddie Howe, you were easy. Light work. All right, let's get Joel Linton in. I, I wasn't expecting to make this signing. This is something that come just, just kind of came up recently when I played against Newcastle. He scored that goal from the corner and I realized, oh, Joel Linton. And then I saw seven months remaining. Could be really cheap. But honestly, I'm just thinking, the more, I, the more I look at his stats and what he has, he's perfect. Okay, I'm going to try and get him on uh, 
rotation. He wants important. All right, we can accept that. He's not a crucial first team player. We'll go with a four-year deal. We'll take him to 31 years old. Don't need a release clause. He's on 105,000. I'll just match it. I'll give him what he's already on. He's just coming to a bigger and better club. Done. Done deal. The new number 17. Look at him, guys. The size of his chest and his shoulders. Like, honestly, if he's running at you, you're running the other way. 30.5 million for Jolington. What do we think, guys? Get your thoughts down in the comments. Is that a good price? According to the game, this is an excellent deal. The best possible deal was 28.4. Yeah, I, I don't know about that. And apparently, he's just a good squad player and we're comparing him to Kivior. <laughs> okay. Honestly, though, Jolington, wow, what a player. So, Jorginho will be the new backup DM, on the bench at least. And, of course, Jolington will go onto the bench. He just improves the team so much because he, he's so versatile. I, I am wondering, does he get in ahead of Vieira? Oh, Vieira's been so good, though. I'm actually considering doing this. Ooh. Yeah, I think we give that a go. Because honestly, whilst Havertz has been quite good and scoring a lot of goals, I don't I don't really like the way he plays. I know that's so strange to hear considering he's been good, but there's something about him. I, I'm going to give this a go. We'll just see what happens. Right, so having spent quite a lot of money, we are now left with about £58 million. It's not exact. I think that means we can safely secure one more deal. Now, before we do that, let's go to my objectives here and let's see, are we actually getting them done? Two out of three. Oh my God. Thank God for that. Uh, just a reminder, there's no youth development one, which is good. Domestic success. They want me to win the title and win the cup, of course. Financially, we're 3% away from making a huge amount of profit. So that'll get done and uh, reach the final of the Champions League. That's going to be a tricky one. But honestly, the fact that this was the critical priority and we're about to complete it, if we sign another Brazilian or whatever, then that is great. My, my job should be safe. I mean, to be fair, in the top left corner, you can see I've got an excellent manager rating. So I'm not too worried at this point. The question is, who do we sign? I'm going to remove Paqueta. I'm not going to be signing him for now. Henrique remains, I think, the best choice. I do need someone to come in and help give Saka a break. So I need a left-footed uh, left right-winger. That's what I'm looking for, and that's exactly what this guy is. Lazaro, however, does interest me, and I do wonder if he could be a, a very good player as well because he can play on the left, on the right, up front, although Henrique could probably do the same. Difficult, isn't it? I think Henrique interests me the most. Ferguson is not one that we're going to be making a move for now. And Zubamendi as well, same thing. I think we're going to wait. Don't think we need him right now. So I think I've decided. Luis Henrique, is he going to be the new Pepe? The backup to Saka? I, I don't know. We're looking at about 28 million. We're not going to pay the release clause because, I mean, it's a stupid amount of money. Let's try a swap again. Have I got a winger they might like? Flores? That could work. Um, I'll, I'll be really generous here. I'm going to put in 29 million. That's a million over the recommended value there. <laughs> and they want Hincapié, who I literally just signed. Yeah, that's not going to work. Um, let's try Aziz. I'm just trying them all, guys, because I might as well. I'll even sweeten the deal with 150 grand just because I'm too lazy to remove it. No, and they want 32. Okay. I reckon we can do a deal for 29 and a half. If I can get him for under 30. Oh, Henrique, come to me, baby. Oh, I cannot wait. Let's negotiate this contract. This would be a huge deal. The objective would be complete. And finally, I have backup to Saka. And he only wants a sporadic squad roll. Oh, yes. Now that I am I'm very happy to give... Five-year deal for a 22-year-old. He only wants three. No, we're going four, of course. And we don't need a release clause. Again, this isn't Spain. We don't need them. Okay, for once, we have been given a number to aim for. 62,000 per week. That is actually 
very reasonable. I'll give him 60 and 500 grand up front. Is that going to be enough? Come on, Luis Henrique. It is. Three signings done. And the board better be happy because they're all South American. Naughty, really. Why can't I just sign anyone? <laughs> I'm super happy with this signing, though, guys. You know I'm massively aware of this, not only in-game, but in real life as well. If Saka gets injured, we're ruined. And once again, it is an excellent deal. We've been given an A rating there. So best possible deal of 26.9. We did 29.5. It's, it's pretty good. And there is confirmation at the top there. Three out of three complete. Deal done. So, where do I put him? <laughs> I have such a big squad. Um, ooh, this is tricky. I mean, technically, Smith Rowe should come out here, but I can't. I can't do that. And I really like Trossard. Maybe Havertz. No, he's good as well. Oh. We'll come back to this. But we've got him. It's done. We are going to convert him to a right winger, of course, which is going to take two weeks. And uh, we need to give him a new number as well. So we don't want number 13. What is available? Not many. What is up with the font not fitting? <laughs> what number was he? I have no idea. I think I'm going to go with 27. I guess that kind of works. So there he is. Another Brazilian player at the mighty Arsenal. And that is our transfer window done in terms of bringing players in, I think. We'll see if any players leave. So with those new players, the team strategy has updated. Every time you add a player, especially if they're a good player, I guess, the required quality goes up. So the amount of stars that they recommend that you have with your coaches goes up. So midfield has gone up to 25. Our defense went up to 24 as well when Hincapié came in. So we do need to continuously update the coaches but I can't sack them right now which kind of sucks let me just go ahead and apply balanced to all 35 players <laughs> Jesus yeah we need to trim the squad I can release one player um I'm gonna get rid of foreign he's annoying me I don't even know who he is but there we go that's that's one gone hopefully we'll get some offers in for the other players because I think I've accepted maybe 20, 25 offers for all of the players I've transfer listed. And only Cedric got accepted and went through. So I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Out of interest, though. Have they upped the limit? Oh, hang on. Oh, my God. No way. They've got rid of the limit. I literally can't sell these players. So I might as well release them. Be free. Free agents. Go. <laughs> yes. Lovely. Oh, he's, he's in the middle of negotiations. Well, it's not going to go through. Oh, my God. Why didn't I check this before? For years and years and years. I think actually forever they've limited it to two. And they've changed it. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Oh, such a smaller squad now. Oh, I've wanted to do that for a while. I was so excited to get into season two and tidy up the squad a little bit. Oh, that is nice. Oh, okay. This is weird. Man City want to bring Zinchenko back. And the weirdest thing is, guys, this happened in the last FIFA as well. Um, I didn't like him as a left back because he's just not fast enough, but I'm going to pursue with him. There's no way I'm letting him go. I, I love Zinchenko. I'm actually going to block offers. But I, I, I have to be honest, I am starting to get to that point again. You know, the amount of times a winger just bar barges through him and disappears. Um, oh my God. <laughs> Evan Ferguson could be going to Real Madrid. Wow. Um, well, Liverpool have come in for Partey. That is a no. I don't want him going to a Premier League team, to be honest. What do I do about Ferguson, guys? If he goes to Real Madrid, it's game over. There's no way I'll be able to get him. Do I Do I just do that? Do I just get Ferguson now? I can afford it. I don't want to lose him. I don't want him to go to Real Madrid. I mean, he will go on and be 86 rated within two seasons, probably. And he'll be 100 million... And, well, maybe more, actually. 
and have a ridiculous wage. Do I jump on this early? It seems a bit much, though, because I don't actually need him right now. Oh, this is so difficult. I just don't want to miss out on him. I would be si signing Tone. And why are people taking the mick out of me for calling him Tone? That is literally how you say it. It's not Tony. He's not Tony. He's Tone. It's literally how, he, how you say his name. Oh, I'm so stuck here. I, d I don't know what to do. Um... Because it's a very unrealistic amount of money. This guy is going to cost at least 70, 80 million. What do I do? What do I do? I want him. I do. And I haven't got a third striker. I literally don't. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, guys. It will be my last signing for sure. This would have been done next season. Um, I'm just I'm just going to go for it. Deserbi looks different. Um... I mean, I need to offer more than Real Madrid. Just going with 11 million. And that's like seven, eight times cheaper than what he'll actually be. 11.8, yeah, yeah, fine. Do it. I will gladly take him. Maybe I should do some sort of financial challenge because of this signing. Maybe you guys could let me know. Maybe the next signing I make, I have to overpay when I've got the money to do it and, and just kind of balance the books a little bit because I do feel bad. This is This is a cheap deal for a player that's so good. Five-year deal. That's fine. We'll accept no release clause, of course. Uh, he's on 35. Maybe I should put his wages up quite high as a, a way to balance it out as well. We'll double his wages almost. He'll surely take that. There you go. Wow. Okay. This wasn't to be done yet. I wasn't expecting to do this. But as soon as I saw Real Madrid wants dim, nah. Nah, 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 nah. We're not, we're not allowing that. Now, this won't be an A. There's no way that was an excellent deal. I'm guessing this was a C. Okay, it was a B. It's a great price. We could have got him for 10.6. I mean, we're talking about a million pounds. It's nothing. It really is nothing. And would you look at that? The number 28 is available for him. And he looks good in red. Welcome to Arsenal, Ferguson. So my team strategy has updated up to 21 stars on the attack now. I noticed my defense went down to 23 from 24 when I released a few players. So it really does fluctuate quite a lot. Uh, we need to update the training plan again just to apply to everyone. We're down to 30 players now. That is a lot, lot better. We've had another offer come in for Partey. This time it is a swap deal. Um, Suso plus 26.4. That is going to be a delegation, and I'm going to say I only want cash. I would like at least 45 as the starting offer, and I won't accept less than 40. I think that's a fair price for Thomas Partey. He's got a market value of 38.5. He's still one of the best players in that position in the world. So we'll go ahead and do that, and we get another one. It's Aston Villa. I mean, I, I, I could be okay with him going to Villa. The thought of him going to Liverpool really didn't excite me so I will accept the Villa offer because they're not going to be challenging me I don't I don't think so anyway now it's great timing to have a cup game because I can make a few debuts here we've got a Gabrielle offer from Leverkusen blocked Ooh, that would be a very good signing for Brighton but Nketiah is going nowhere just now I'm just going to reject not block and Thomas Partey we've had an offer come back from Sevilla 46 0.09. Okay, we'll go ahead and accept that as well. He's going to go to Spain or he's going to stay in England. We will find out soon. But um, yeah, it's time for a debut. No, you're not playing it on any. Sorry. Time for a debut for a lot of players in this game against Wickham in the FA Cup. What I'm going to do is switch up the team quite a lot here. So Ferguson's going to make his debut up front. Henrique on that right wing. Um, we should give him Capier a start as well. Diamande. I mean, we're literally playing Wickham. <laughs> it should be okay. We'll go with uh, Tomiyasu. We'll go with Trossard. Jolington's going to make a start. And let's put Jorginho in there as well. Vieira as captain doesn't quite do it for me. Um, we will go with Jorginho. I think that makes sense. Or maybe Zinchenko. But um, what I'm going to do is start the game via a sim because it's, it's just Wickham. <laughs> no offence, Wickham fans. But I would like to jump in at some point and test out these players on the ball. Oh, we've scored already. 
I believe that's an assist for Henrique on that right wing. And Trossard has scored what I can only imagine is a header, which is a little bit of a weird one for Trossard, that's for sure. Oh! I think that was Henrique again. He's hit the post. We are now in the second half. I'm going to jump in maybe around the 60th minute. Oh my god, we're in. Oh, and Jolinton's missed from there. Well, at least he's getting involved. I don't understand how we've only got 41% of the possession, though. I feel like we've been dominating. I mean, we have. Four shots, four chances. Okay, we're going to jump in soon. Maybe after this attack. Is that a corner? No, it's a goal kick. Let's just get the ball forward. That'll do. Let's jump in here. And let's see what these new players are all about. Jolington is an absolute giant. Here he is on the ball. Oh, my God. Get out of the way, mate. Oh! <laughs> I've got to try a shot. Go on. Oh! Almost a debut goal. What a cross. No! Henrique's hit the bar this time. He deserves a goal. He's got an assist already, but he, he should be scoring that. If that was Ferguson, that's a debut goal for him, for sure. Look how many players we've got forward. This is hilarious. Here is Henrique again. He has the debut goal! Bakayo Saka who? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean that. He's going to be good though. Henrique is the chosen one. The backup to Saka. Look how many players we just had sitting in and around their box. That is hilarious. Right, I'm going to make some changes now though because I don't want to have all of these players play the full 90 minutes. And it finishes 3-0. Trossard got another goal there. Nine shots to one. And we managed to get a bit more possession in that second half. So that's a lot better. It is official though. Thomas Partey is leaving Arsenal. This is going to happen in real life and we're going to miss him. He's a very, very good player. I don't think he'll go in January in real life, but definitely next summer. I think he will be phased out of the team. He has decided to join Aston Villa. So he will be staying in England. We only got a C. 60? There's no way we could have got 60 million for Partey. I don't believe that for a second. Okay, well, we've got players returning from loan. Jorginho needs his focus changed. Uh, I don't think so. Um, well done, Henrique, by the way. Oh, that was outstanding, son. And El Elneny, I'm sorry. Not the right game? You're not good enough, really. And I'm really sorry, John Jules, but you are going to be... Whoa! Half a million to release him. I'm doing you a favor, mate. <laughs> I'm doing you a favor. Flores has still got the approached by Carago SK. So we can't do anything about that. Who was the other one who came back? Oh, I can't wait to get Patino next season. That'll be nice. Um, Rekic. 341k. Yeah, I'm doing you a favor as well. We just don't need them. We don't need these players. What? Flores! Are you a hobbit? I'm sorry. Give me a second. No. He's not that short. Okay. Also, I got money for a young player. Wow. He is five foot four. Is he actually? He looked so small. It was quite cute. Sorry for calling him a hobbit, though. That's not cool, Matt. <laughs> That's not cool. Um, team strategy is updated. Down to 20 stars in the attack now. And we've got Crystal Palace in our next game. And we're third place. So not only have we massively improved and we've managed to climb the table a bit, I've made some huge signings as well. Just look at my squad now, guys. Look at the first team. Okay, very, very good. Of course, Erdegaard would normally be in there. Such a strong first team. And then you go to the bench. Oh, look at it. So many quality players and they can all play in multiple positions. And then, oh, Erdegaard's gone down by one. No. Oh, that sucks. But Hen Henrique coming in. Nelson is the other side. Uh, Diomande, he was solid in that last game. Kivior's there. Honestly, what a team. What a team we're building. And that is going to round up the episodes this week. Tomorrow, of course, is no career mode or on Sunday. We don't post career mode on weekends, but we do have the Arsenal watch along potentially and Operation Arsenal will go live. 
Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm loving the series. I know the gameplay has been a little bit off, but I feel like we're kind of finding a groove now, which is very exciting. So I will see you guys on Monday for the next episode as we finish off January and we get pushing in the rest of the Premier League season. And most importantly, the Champions League as well. We've got to keep pushing and try and get to the final.